Hi third graders and welcome to CVIS. This will be your home next year for a couple of years when you enter here in fourth grade. I'm Mrs. Rickart, your school counselor. Come on, let's take a tour. Now we're in the main office and I know you saw this on your tour. And here is Mrs. Sankra. And so remember, this is a place where you will come if you are leaving school early or if you come into school late or if you have a note or message that needs to be delivered to the office. And now we're going to go see Mr. Walker, the assistant principal. So we're walking into his office. Hello, Mr. Walker. I'm Mrs. Principal here. I'm extremely excited to have you guys here. It's going to be a fun year and we can't wait to have and you here. This is Dr. Sanders, the building principal. Hello, Dr. Sanders, uh, principal here at CVIS, and we're glad to see you uh, here at CVIS. Okay, I want to make sure that I show you the nurse's office. You did see this on your tour, and this is where Mrs. Main and Mrs. Turner work, and Mrs. Turner is in today, and so she will just say hi. Hi, Mrs. Turner. Hello. Hi, and remember, this is where you will come if you're not feeling well. Um, reminder that we'd like you to get to school every day and if you're not feeling well we've got excellent people there's Mrs. Turn again to take care of you and um, if they need to send you home they will but our goal is to keep everybody healthy but everyone at school is I'm sure you're probably wondering what our gym looks like it is super huge and I'm filming this after school and some of our after school friends were here playing a game you guys want to wave that's another thing, we have an after school program. They are playing a game that looks like they were throwing all kinds of paper balls. Anthony just gave an example. All right, thank you guys. Okay, so this is my office. I'm right outside the cafeteria and right, right near fourth grade hallway, which we'll show you in a minute. And I want to remind you that I'm Mrs. Ricard, your school counselor. You can come visit me anytime. My job here is to make sure you feel good about being here at CBIS because when we feel good, we do our best work and we make our best decisions. Here is the cafeteria where you'll be having lunch and I wanted to show you it's quite large with lots of seats. There's lines at the front where you'll go in to get your lunch and we have many different choices for lunch this year. So it's a great place to be and I know you will love it. When you're in fourth grade, you'll either be assigned a teacher that is upstairs fourth grade or downstairs fourth grade. The hallways look exactly the same. It's just different teachers are upstairs and teachers, different teachers are downstairs. We're going to take a look in an upstairs classroom. Okay, one of the exciting things about fourth grade is that you guys get to have your own locker where you can keep your book bag, your lunchbox, coat, extra um, sweatshirt if you would need one. You're going to see they're super easy to open, okay? And this will be your space. Many students like to bring pictures or magnets to decorate your locker, and this is your own space, so you can feel free to do that when you get here in fourth grade. Um, a reminder, there are no locks on these lockers, so you don't have to worry with a lock or a locker combination. Okay, we're in one of the fourth grade classrooms, and I just wanted to kind of familiarize you with some of the things in the classroom that you see. Most classrooms have a lunch pick, and that is something that you do right when you come in the morning, you get to decide if you're going to have the regular lunch, the alternate lunch, or if you have brought lunch. Um, I also wanted to call, you, call your attention to this. Um, teachers will write your assignments on the board, and we do give everyone an assignment book, and we encourage you to write down your assignments so you can remember what you need to do for homework. Um, the rest of the classroom probably looks pretty familiar. We have desks, we have chairs, and all of our rooms have windows that look outside. We have things like whiteboards and Promethean boards. And of course, just a light, a lot of bright, colorful things. Um, Next stop here is our absolutely beautiful library. Um, you will come to library with your ELA teacher and you will have book exchange. Our librarian is Mrs. Knott and her assistant is Mrs. Milheims and they do a wonderful job helping students find just the right book. Jaden Edwards, who is a sixth grader who's going to offer some advice and tell you about her best experience at CVIS. One of my best experiences at CVIS would definitely be the mini-con. It's a good way to finish off the year and it's really fun. Um, 
um, some advice I have is to focus on your grades because it can make you very successful and school is just a lot more fun when you have good grades. Nicole Moore, who's also a sixth grader and will offer some advice. Some advice for you is to don't be afraid to make friends and go outside your comfort zone for many um, different opportunities that you may have this year. And what was your best experience here? My best experience was probably all the opportunities and how um, supportive everybody is. Lastly, we have Angel Garcia Booth, who's going to share an important message with you about our P5s. One of my important messages is to have fun and always um, respect the P5 rules, which is be prompt, be prepared, be productive, be polite, and be happy. We have Jack Rios, who will also offer some encouraging words. Um, some encouraging words I have is to always be prepared and um, have all your stuff and be organized. And a uh, fun time I had here is definitely the talent show and it's very fun to watch. And That's it. That's the tour. We came through the building, you went in the main office, you saw Dr. Sanders and Mr. Walker. You saw the nurse's office and classrooms, our beautiful library and gym and this is finally, we're ending the tour in my office. And I want to give you a special message to let you know that you are absolutely ready to be here. And we are absolutely thrilled to have you coming to see us. So enjoy the rest of your summer and we'll see you soon.